Okay, PS5 is the first console to outsell Nintendo Switch in nearly three years. 33 months, that's a long time, guys. Nintendo Switch is actually, what, almost five years old? Oh my goodness, time is flying by, guys. Uh, what did Reggie Fisa may have to say about this? Your boy just posted... <laughs> he posted the scream? Who was the guy that painted this? E -E Edward Munch? Munchies? Lunchables? I don't know, man. Are PS5 still hard to get out there? A lot of scalpers still? You'll see on TikTok, like, people lining up at Best Buy all the way around the store for Xbox Series Xs and uh, PS5s. But uh, I think that's kind of sad still, you know? We're, it's been out for a while now. But uh, it's surprising to me that it's outselling the Nintendo Switch or the month of September. Good job, Sony, for doing that. Uh, hopefully more people can get their hands on the PS5. I haven't played PS5 in a while. I think the last game I played was Horizon Zero Dawn. I couldn't really get into it for some reason. I don't know what it was. Forbidden West does look pretty good though. Uh, what I'm actually really waiting for is Final Fantasy 16. So when that drops, I'm gonna be all over it. Whoa, ayo, chill, 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 chill. Square Enix all day, baby. I was reading that Final Fantasy 16 was gonna be a PS5 exclusive and also possibly hit consoles later on. It probably will. So I wouldn't be surprised. Valve dropped a video about their Steam Deck, verified games or the compatibility to run certain games on that handheld console. It has the potential to be really great, I think. I was going to pre-order instead of the Nintendo Switch OLED, but um, I was just telling myself, I'm gonna wait a little bit, see what people say about it when it actually releases. Running Linux OS out the box? I think a lot of people are gonna try and install Windows on it. What does it run up to, 60 FPS? So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, USB Type-C and it outputs to your monitor or TV, so I mean, Switch competitor, man, for real. Steam has, what, over 50,000 games? That's a lot, bro. And they're trying to hire some people, too, that I was reading here, to test out their games, so to make sure they work. Maybe I should go work for them. Maybe I should go apply. I need a job. Guys, help me. But we also got some new expansion cards for Xbox Series X and S. 512 gigabytes to two terabytes. Those look pretty clean. By Seagate, a little collaboration. Uh, what's so special about these? And why do these cost so much? 140 bucks for 512 gigabyte? You kidding me, bro? They better be fast, man. What's the speed on this? 2.4 gigabytes of raw throughput, more than 40 times the throughput of Xbox One. I, I don't know what I really have to say about these because they do look nice. Um, I like the little small form factor that they have going on here. It's not like some huge SSD. Will I need this? Probably not because I'm mostly playing on my PC instead of Xbox. Um, since they have Game Pass now, a lot of similar games are on both. So it's like, I don't need an Xbox anymore, bro. You know what I noticed? It's all about expansion. All these companies want you to pay more. Expansion pack. Nintendo. Hey guys, don't buy an Xbox for $3.99. Instead, buy our Seagate 2 terabyte storage expansion pack. And we're also sorry that Warzone takes a lot of storage. So you can upgrade at any time you guys want to and just pay all this money. <laughs> man, this is pretty cool, man. Hey. You guys got this? It's pretty dope. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about everything, all these topics. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to your boy. You know, if you guys want the latest gaming news, I'm right here, baby. Whoa, hey, yo.